Greetings everybody, how are y'all doing today? So for the past week, I've been kind of contemplating on whether I should go on with the whole Apple Store Leader program and I'm gonna give you a few reasons why and I'm gonna show you pretty much what I was weighing with my pros and cons and weighing in on the decision whether I should go on with the hiring event. So I actually, um, I received the email a day after I had my phone interview with, with Apple and um, it's, I said I had until March 20th, which is today. And the, I got that email on, I believe I got the email on Friday. So I had the weekend pretty much to, to think about it and weighing in the, the pros and cons. And when I, looked at the, when I looked through the email and the invitation, it said that the hiring event was located in Los Angeles. So um, th this was a huge factor for me because uh, from San Diego, and if the hiring event is in the morning, I would have to leave really early in the morning. Um, so that, that, had, that, that, um, that was weighing into my decision. There are some travel arrangements according to the website and they, they do, the day, the, if you count up your, your miles that you drive up from where your location is to the, to the hotel that where, you're gonna, where the hiring event is located, they will pay off for gas and travel arrangements, things like that. But I wasn't taking that into consideration, it's just the fact that um, the, whole, the hiring event, it said it's roughly, a, you're working with a group for about three hours and then you have some interviews with some managers and then there's a decision to be made. So it's not, um, you, don't have the, you don't have the position just yet, it still is a hiring event. And looking into my shoes, I've, it's been almost two years since I graduated. I've already gained um, an, a lot, I've gained almost two years worth of retail experience. And I, I want to pursue my career in engineering, that's why I wanted to become a me mechanical engineer. I want to do something with my degree. Now with the Apple Store Leader program, it's kind of like signing up for a two year contract working in retail. You know, I, I've done my work in retail. Like I've learned a lot from that experience, but now I wanna move on. I wanna pursue something higher, right? So th that's something I've been looking into. I've been, I've, I've been thinking about it and it, it is re really uh, like, it's similar to the Disney College program. It's more for those who are still in school or those who are looking to build that experience, build that knowledge, and find it, look for something that could, they could, that where they could potentially move on within Apple. But now, I've I've graduated. I had two years and uh, two years of this kind of experience under my belt. I want to pursue something higher in Apple. And now that if I were to per, if I were to go on with this Apple Store Leader program, I would have to commit two years of my life, full time work, working in Apple Store retail. So that's also what I had to consider, weighing on the pros and cons of that. And the fact that if, if the hiring event did put me in Los Angeles, what if I had to move up to Los Angeles to do this leader program? Is it worth it? Is it worth going, committing two years of my life to this program if there's no guarantee of getting into a higher engineering position in Apple? So I didn't want to take that risk, especially with what I've been able to build up with my experience here at SeaWorld and working at Disney Store, having settled in in San Diego, I'm fine with everything with, with what I have right now. That's just gonna take a lot of commitment um, putting two years into the program. So that's what I'm looking at my shoes. So when I received that email, the invitation on Friday, I also received a phone call from SeaWorld to set up a date for my follow-up interview for the assistant supervisor position. So this is where it gets interesting. So I had my follow-up meeting that following Sunday, and it was during my shift, so I, I left about 10 minutes early, I uh, got there, and then they pretty much for the follow-up meeting, they, they set up a time where they talk about your interview, how you did, answering your questions, the positives, negatives, just giving you a little critique on your resume, what you can do to polish up your resume, cover letter, everything like that. So I, I thought it was a really good experience doing a follow-up meeting. I've never really had a follow-up meeting for an interview. Um, with the company, so having that experience and knowing what managers look at as far as my in, uh, as far as the interview goes, as far as the cover letter and the resume, and they're giving me recommendations on how to change things up. But besides the small little things that they wanted to change, they said that my cover letter, my resume, and the way the answers that I gave during my interview were were really good. So I uh, overall, 
the experience from that follow-up was really positive. Now, at the end of the interview, um, they pretty much told me if I got the assistant supervisor position or not. They were saying there were a lot of candidates and uh, there were all coming into the interview process. They are expecting to hire a lot more than they than they could have. And now there's a lot less demand for supervisors. And they said, but you but you were the one that selected. So. Uh, some great news, I did get promoted as a super supervisor at, uh, at SeaWorld, so it's really cool. A couple of my friends uh, applied to and they were able to get positions. Unfortunately, we're all going to different parts of the, the park now, like uh, one of my friends is going to be in guest experience. Actually, uh, one of my fellow team members from uh, Currents and SeaWorld store is going to come, is going to tag along with me at Island Traders and Island Traders at SeaWorld San Diego is the one near Shipwreck Rapids so we're gonna be uh, being leads over there most likely during spring break and summer so that's a very exciting um, time. Now looking into my shoes and knowing the fact that I just got this promotion as an super assistant supervisor I'll be getting guaranteed hours getting guaranteed days and I still have another side job with Disney Store do I really want to take it all away and pursue the Apple Store Leader Program and not know what's going to happen next after two years and doing full-time retail job. You know, I, I, I see this assistant supervisor position as a great opportunity just to build my leadership skills. You know, um, I see, uh, you know, there's a lot of potential in SeaWorld as far as like being an engineer over there. there I, I, I see a lot of work to be done as far as expanding the park and potentially building better rides or new shows. So I see that there's a lot of work to be done at SeaWorld and I feel that I can be a great part of that pro those projects and coordinate coordinating those projects in the, in, the, in the future. So I really want to stick, uh, stay here, here in San Diego and with SeaWorld. So that's pretty much what, what was weighing in my, in my decision on whether or not I should do the hiring event. But if you are thinking about doing the Apple Store Leader Program, those are the kind of things that you want to consider. Do you want to commit two years of doing full-time retail? I, it really is up to you on, uh, are you patient enough to do that? Are you willing to, uh, especially if retail is not your, is not what you really want to do by the end of your career. What, like say if you're, if you're, if you want to be a nurse, if you want to go into law, do you, and you know that you could do something better um, or th there's another line of work that you know that you can get into, I would consider the Apple Store Leader Program as not exactly a last resort, but maybe a third or fourth option um, behind your career choices. As like say, if you want to become an engineer, there's possibilities after the program, but remember, you still have to commit two years, and that's something you have to consider when you're gonna commit to the Apple Store Leader Program. So, and here's the thing, if I had the decision to either go Disney College Program or Apple Store uh, Leader Program when I graduated, that would be a different story, you know? Because the Disney College Program was only a six month internship and the fact that I would have to go to Anaheim, that, that, that's, that's different. With Apple Store Leader Program, I have the options to either just stay in San Diego, work full time, for two years after graduation. That's awesome. Yeah, it is retail, but there is that possibility of getting to that career uh, career um, job position. But that's after I that's that would that would that would be a different scenario if that happened after I graduated. Would I have taken away the Disney College program for the Apple Store Leader program? Maybe, but the Disney but having Disney on my resume really helps and it really be it has really benefited me uh, throughout the past two years ever since I graduated so those are pretty much the pros and cons of, of what I was thinking about in in deciding whether I should pursue this Apple Store Leader Program opportunity. Um, it, it really does sound like a, a great program being able to build that experience but you know I already have that experience under my belt working for both Disney and SeaWorld and I don't want to commit another two years and knowing that I have to stay there. I, you know, I, it would suck to get, be a part of the program and then say, oh, I'm not really into it. Six months in and what's going to happen now? You don't have that guaranteed time. 
So that's pretty much what I've been able to decide and think about. As of right now, I'm going to be sticking to being an assistant supervisor at SeaWorld and um, I'm going to do my best to uh, work with my schedules with Disney Store so I can keep both jobs. You know, working at Disney Store has, it has really helped me um, in like in the short term with the extra, si uh, extra money on the side where SeaWorld every two weeks there's that big paycheck and Disney Store there's always that uh, good small paycheck every week. So that's pretty much what I've been working with the past, uh, th thinking about and working with and deciding whether I should pursue the Apple Store Leader Program. Uh, although I did talk about my personal side and weighing in my life in comparison to pursuing this opportunity, I hope my decisions and my thought process has helped you maybe if you're in the same situation or, or perhaps if you're on the fence whether you should do the Disney College Program or the Apple Store Leader Program, those are the options that you can think about. So I'll, hopefully this helped. If it, um, if you're still on the fence, you know, really think about it. Weigh your pros and cons. That's what I always do when I'm on the fence between a decision. And you know, it, it, I'm a visual learner. That's what I learned. Uh, that, that's what I f found out during like my last two years of uh, college. I'm a visual learner. I have to write it down. I have to look it up, look at it on the board, see how it works. I can't just write notes the whole time. I have to see it to believe it, kind of thing. So there, you, there you have it. That's pretty much my little great news for the day. I couldn't say anything to my friends, and um, I had to wait until today. So uh, I finally saw the schedule. I got my education classes for the leadership program uh, at Sea at Sea World. So I'm going to be training for two days next week. Uh, starting Monday and I'm gonna get another training day on Saturday. So that is pretty much it what I have for you today I hope this inf this information helped you and looking at my personal side or uh, if you want to congratulate me giving me that Thumbs up leave a comment below whatever you want. Well, you could do whatever you want. Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. Maybe I'll see ya. Peace